Oh dear, that was a bit of a wet, muddy walk in. So, I've got a new stove. I acquired this probably a couple of months ago and I have not used it. This is a 1962 Primus camping stove. Runs off paraffin, which is great. We've got a little bottle of meths. For any of you that don't know anything about these stoves, you'll see why in a little while, the reason to having this little bottle of meths. Yeah, 1962. I thought I'd bring it out for you guys. Just to show you, some of you may be very aware of these stoves and there's going to be people out there that aren't aware of these stoves and uh, might be interested. So yeah, let's get this set up and get a brew on I think. But first, I didn't bring any water with me because I know there's water here on the property. So I'm going to head down to the stream and get some water from there. Let's do that. Okay, so in the box you get the little bottle of meths, I added that, and obviously you'll know why in a bit, an old rag, I put that in, it's handy for mopping up and stuff. Here's the top, natural burner, plate and that itself, three pot stands, This is, for anyone who doesn't know, this is called a lipstick. And then this is the little tray that you put your meths in. And that just slots on like that. Then of course we have the stove itself. As I said earlier, this is a 1962 model. You can tell that with this model because the last two digits on the code there, which is six and two, hopefully it will be in focus, stands for the year. So this is a 1962. We have a little windshield that comes with it. And a little spanner. And you'll see why we need that little spanner in a bit. So let's get the legs unfolded on this. Get some paraffin put in it and get this set up and burning. Lovely little stove. Got a bottle of paraffin. So what you need to do with this little spanner on the end, you can sort of, use, you've got like a, like a little screw driver slot there. Undo that, take that out. Then that goes in this little hole here just so you don't lose it, just nip that up. Then, you get your lipstick. Screw that in the middle. Use your spanner. Just nip it up. Put your meths plate. On, like so burner plate in all right okay so now we've got most of it set up we're all set up apart from the pot stands we'll put them on in a minute so take this you'll see this has got a little twisty nipple on it forget about that for a minute unscrew the main compartment don't lose that 
get your paraffin. Now it's important you do not fill these right up. Just enough. Probably about half. That's all you need. All right, screw that back on. Now we've done that part, we can put our pot stands on. And now she's ready to light. We're almost there. If you like, you can take the top off to make it easier. But now we're gonna pour our meths into that little bowl. Like so. Pop that back on. Now this little screw here, make sure it's undone a couple of turns. Light your meths. Yep, that's going. So what the meths is gonna do now in this little bowl is it's gonna heat that lipstick chamber up. It's gonna heat all this up. And once we start, when that goes, when that's nearly gone out, we we'll do this screw up and we'll start pumping it. And then the gases that come out from the paraffin will ignite. This, this will take a minute or so to burn down. Okay, so the meths has nearly burnt away now because I can see it's starting to fizz, it's starting to bubble on the bottom of the little reservoir there. So we're going to do this little, we're going to do that little nut up. There we go. Just keep pumping. Okay, she's going. I had to faff around with it for a bit, sorry everyone. But yeah, she's, she's working now, as you can see. We're just pumping, getting the pressure in there, and there we go, now it's time for a brew! One eternity later. Well, I managed to get a brew on, but that's only because of the trusty bush box. Um, there's something going on with this stove, I'm not sure what. Now, when I tested it at home, it was working perfectly. Now, I've tested it a couple of times at home, and every time it's been working perfectly. And I bring it out here, and it's spitting fluid out the top, and it shouldn't be spitting the fluid out the top. It should be burning off the fumes. So I'm not sure what is going on. I've tried it multiple times. I got it going, as you saw, but, it just kept dying. The flames kept, you know, the burn kept going really low. And um, I had to pump it up more. And it just kept kept spitting out, out the top hole, the actual liquid. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Oh, I don't know if there's something wrong with it now or if I'm doing something wrong. If anyone does know about these stoves, you know, drop me a message on Instagram or something, MDM Outdoor Adventures. Um, or leave me a comment on here and let me know if I'm doing something wrong or whether maybe there's something wrong with the gauze in, inside the lipstick. I don't know. Um, but sod's law, isn't it? It was working fine at home as soon as I want to bring it out to show you guys it starts playing up um, so yeah I do apologize for that the video didn't go the way I'd hoped or planned um, I really wanted to show you all this this old stove working properly and doing what it was built to do but today is just not its day unfortunately but still I hope you enjoyed the video anyway I know I enjoyed just getting out here. 
getting a brew on because of the trusty old bush box. <laughs> yeah, trusty old bush box, I never let you down. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that old vintage stove. And you know, once I get it up and working, if you guys want to see it in more videos, some overnighters, see me cooking on it and things like that, drop it in the comments, let me know. Yeah, as I said, sorry the video didn't come out as planned, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. There ain't no fakery on my channel. If something goes wrong, I'm gonna show it. So there we go, but yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribed and liking and commenting on the videos and supporting the channel. I appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next video. Now I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. Enjoy the woodland and drink my coffee. Never know if I sit quietly enough. I uh, might, might see the deer. The deers might come out and show themselves. We never know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Bye bye. Oh, Sasquatch. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye.